what started as a typical night quickly changed when a young man put a knife to her throat in the middle of a research store. I spoke with her about what she went through and how she's doing now. Teresa Brinkley says she was in the grocery store with her grandson when all of a sudden... Seeing someone like, like kind of running towards me, but I did. I thought maybe he was running to pick up an item he had forgotten or something. And next thing I know, he's grabbing me around the shoulder and the neck with a knife. She says at first for a moment, she almost thought it was a joke, but then reality set in. in. I didn't know what else to do but pray. Um, when he grabbed me, he said this wasn't anything to do with me, um, that it was all about him. And told me there was no help for him. And it he wanted the police to come, and he wanted them to be the ones to shoot him. Somehow, in the middle of it all, she had the strength to seem calm on the outside, even talking to the teen with a knife. I was telling him, there's other ways, there's uh, people out there that'll help you. And she managed to call her husband. But I didn't really think I was going to make it out, so I was wanting to let him know I loved him. If I didn't make it out, and... <sighs> That's how scared I was. I was I was wanting to talk to him before something happened. She says her grandson started screaming when he saw what was happening, and that's when the store manager stepped in. He was telling the guy that he didn't know me, I didn't know him, I was obviously taking care of a child, and that he was willing to take my place if he would let me go. He did let her go. Police arrived, and they took the teen into custody. And after all of it, Brinkley says she knows she needs help to get over what happened, but she also hopes the young man gets help, too. He needs help. He's young. He's a young man. And no young man should think this is this is where it, what I want to end. You know, he shouldn't feel that way. No, no, no person should feel that way. Maybe I will get a chance to talk to him. Maybe, you know, the young man, maybe I'll have a chance to talk to him and let him know I'm praying for him. Tonight, the Brinkleys were enjoying the dinner they were supposed to have last night. The juvenile suspect was turned over to the Lighthorse Police and will be charged federally.